Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube. Today we're taking a stroll through Nervous Networks ecosystems. You're not going to want to miss out on this. So welcome back to the channel, everyone. I thought, well, the market is kind of kicking their feet. It'd be kind of fun to do a different type of video that focuses on some of the platforms built on the Nervous Network. And today we'll be going over HXRO, Tokyle, Golden Legend, and DAS. Let's start with DAS, stands for Decentralized Account Systems. Now, I hope this gets used by people because there is such a demand in the worldwide market for uh, decentralized phone numbers, emails, social media accounts, bank accounts, things like that, where we yearned for the day these large social media companies will no longer be able to sell our names, our telephone numbers, our personal data, GPS coordinates, and, you know, everything. People don't like that, especially when we're not getting any kickbacks uh, f from them selling off our information. So it's going to be really interesting to... It's, it's going to be really interesting to see how this gets used. And I'm not a techie person at all. So please, I wish I could go into greater detail. And I do plan to talk with a computer programmer, a coder, who I hope to have on soon. Maybe can address this better than I can. But for now, we will move on to Golden Legend. If you have been watching this channel, you will remember that I created an NFT in Photoshop, uploaded it to Golden Legend, and gave it out. One thing, it's been a couple weeks since I've been to Golden Legend, but this is the NFT that I created, Nervous Network, the United States of NFTs. This note is the official tender of the world, the Federal Reserve Bank of CKB, and of course, George Washington smoking a cig, Six Fig Stock Trader on the badge. And then I left a little note down here. Six Fig Stock Trader. Power to the power to the crypto holders is what I put. Now, this was just, you know, for satire reasons. But you can see that we created an NFT on Golden Legend. And it uh, was distributed to 12 or 11 lucky people in the comments section. Now, the one thing I have noticed is this has changed from Golden Legend to MyBow. And I do see Nervina Labs is uh, definitely involved with this. So it would be interesting to hear from them kind of any updates or what's going on with Golden Legend and this MyBow. As you can see, it has just not been updated on Nervous Network. And this could just be uh, a... a a different name uh, or, or a different part of a platform that caters to the English side of things and not the Chinese side. Uh, so I'll leave it at that, but this is a super cool uh, early NFT platform on Nervous Network. And one thing I do wish it would be easy to do is to sell these NFTs or put them up for sale like OpenSea or something like that. I think once that gets established... Uh, this is going to really take off. Let's look at Tokyle or Tosile. Please forgive me, folks, if I'm pronouncing this right, and feel free to correct me in the comments below. But I thought this is very interesting, and it goes back to what I was saying with DAS. Tokyle is a social media platform created by, I'm assuming, cosplayers. And now I have not registered for an account or anything like that uh, i do see there on uh, twitter uh, we might check that out in a second but uh, we can see that this is a very active community lots of posts lots of likes lots of comments so this is kind of interesting to see all these little tiny communities that are just hidden in the nooks and crannies of the internet not to mention on blockchains so this is really cool to me uh, that people kind of have a safe space on a blockchain to post their pictures, things like that. And this is what the world needs is something like this 
other than uh, Facebook, Insta, I hate to say it, but even YouTube. Uh, the next one I want to look at is HXRO, and this is a gaming crypto trading platform. It's gambling. And for the most part, uh, I would recommend to everybody that if you want to gamble, maybe go to a casino. This could just be little old me not exposed to gambling on the internet because when I do bring this up and try to get in, at least in the United States, I am restricted from participating in this, of course. I do have a private VPN that will link me to Germany should I want to bypass this. But we can look at some of these gambling, um, some of these gambling, uh, I guess, games they have, ticks options. So they're looking for, you can basically bet, this is betting, you're betting that on by September 24th, we will see Bitcoin close above 100,000. Look at the odds. 0.3%. Now, I'm not advocating to use or not use this website. You need to make your own decisions when it comes to this stuff. So with that said, we have, uh, you know, this side of things, close above, and we're looking for close below. You can bet on that. Wix is just touching it. So, you know, will Bitcoin touch 100k by September 24th, uh, the odds are 0.3 market probability. What I think is interesting about this whole gambling thing is that, you know, we might be able to use some of this data to see what the options traders are thinking, things like that. And with that said, there are a lot of other good databases to retrieve that information but uh, for now bitcoin is trading at what what is bitcoin at right now 45,611 so we could see that uh you know there's a 52 percent chance that it'll hit that by september 24th and this is just to touch it uh we're looking at touch 48,000 that's 72.6 percent and looks people are kind of looking like touch 40,000 almost 50 percent you know so it's kind of a mixed mixed opinions right now as far as bitcoin's concerned it looks like they have paramutual options so if you've ever bet on like horse racing or anything like that that's kind of what this is where everybody kind of uh, puts their money in a pool this computer depending on how many people have entered what the fees are things like that will then calculate a payout and so we can see that if you wanted to bet on bitcoin in the next minute to lock above forty five thousand five hundred and forty dollars and seventy four cents you can basically gamble here and so it looks like we could enter in these upcoming events again i'm not here to gamble to advocate for gambling we're just going over what's on nervous network i think i think this is probably uh one of my more uh you know one of the applications that i'm more fascinated with right now on nervous network uh, so this is this is interesting to me and of course uh bnb btc eth you can bet on all of that so uh, Binance coin. It's very interesting to me to to look at some of this, and it looks like they are just pulling right from the trading view charts. So I don't know. I don't know. I you know I guess uh, little old me is uh, just not used to to uh, internet gambling. I'm not a gambler myself, even though I do work the stock market. Uh, but with that said, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour through the Nervous Network ecosystem of NFTs and gaming. I do want to see the NFT market pick up, and I think we will in in all due time. And I do think that we'll see more social media platforms like Tokyle or Tassile start popping up as well. I'm thrilled that there's a gaming 
platform on there as well. It's it's so cool to me to see this in a decentralized fashion built out on the Nervous blockchain. Uh, so with that said, folks, I think in the next video, we may look at the Explorer and Token View. One thing I also want to check out are these wallets. If you had to ask me right now, the Neuron wallet is my favorite wallet out of all of these. And then on top of that, I have not really gotten the chance to look at these wallets a heck of a whole lot. So with that said, we'll go over some of the wallets and stuff like that here in, the, in a future video because that is a question I get asked all the time. So with that said, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you guys on the next one.